Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and let me show you another pretty useful feature that you might see in the upcoming Kynap release. Everyone who at least once built an airplane wanted to put additional servos and that meant that he had to deal with something called custom servo mixer. The problem with custom servo mixer was that there were no graphical user interface. You had to type everything from the CLI, uh, use the INAV for clean flight or beta flight, beta flight, no, okay, clean, clean flight on INAV documentation, get through which number means what, put it in correct order, see if it's work, usually not working, <laughs> maybe not a nightmare, but, but something that a lot of uh, users feared, including me, so um, I finally decided to do something about this, and in the upcoming INAV configurator release, you will see something like this. What I have here is a flight controller with custom servo mixes. Until now, if you wanted to do anything with custom servo mixes, you had to go to the CLI and type SMix. After that, you saw that SMix0 for servo1 uses function 1 with rate minus 100 and speed 0. Without a documentation, understanding what that means is rather hmm, hard, impossible, uh, not needed. This is why, starting from the next INAF configurator release, I hope at least, you will be able to use on a servo tab simple graphical interface for the SMIX rules. Servo 1, stabilist, pitch, weight, rate minus 100 speed zero remove it it's removed you add want to add new servo rule just pick a function select weight select speed or leave it at zero select another servo select another function weight save and done you don't have to remember which input function means what you just can use a very simple interface and it's stored almost immediately in the cli ready to be used pretty nice right maybe nothing something super special but this this surely improves the user experience especially for the ones of us who are not very in the cli numbers terminals <laughs> anyhow to tell you the secret, this is not the end. The, the goal is to create very similar interface also for the motor mixer, but this rather will not happen in the next release, maybe next next release, but, but who knows. But the ultimate goal is a kind of like slight revolution about the mixer, because what I want to do is to get rid of predefined mixers completely. Gone everything will be happening using custom presets presets and custom mixer uh, but this this is a song of the future so maybe in 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 maybe in a reasonable future we will see something like this ah and uh, one more thing if you like the video thumbs up did not like it thumbs up why not but either way please subscribe this will help me a lot and until the next one bye